Welcome back to the channel and you're with me Arun Sharma and in today's session uh, I'm continuing with my series in this video uh, the series of 25 or 50 must know quants questions We're already done 25 we are halfway through the series please have a look at uh, the other questions some very nice selected questions I picked up in this and today's question is also an interesting one in which I show you uh, something that is being done a lot in aptitude exams these days and uh, you, you uh, normally in maths questions uh, solvable maths questions you have number of equations and number of unknowns equal so when the number of equations number of unique equations in the maths question is equal to the number of unknowns uh, distinct unknowns in the in the question you you have a set of system of equations which solves the answer you can get unique values for all the unknowns but uh, uh, when when the number of equations is less than the number of unknowns the number of unique equations is less than number of unknowns in such situations, you don't get unique answers to the questions and then you have possible situations in those questions. You, you try to build possible situations and this question is built on that. What I mean to say is that if I tell you A plus B is 10 and A minus B is 4, you can solve for A and B. But if I only tell you A plus B is 10 and I don't give you a second equation between A and B, you can't answer the value what A is and what B is. You can't, you can't uniquely determine it. And, and that leaves you with multiple possible situations. And this is a big theme. You know, almost almost all aptitude exams that's happening these days, you should be aware of it. Specifically, uh, the tougher aptitude exams. So here goes uh, question 26, is what we are doing today, uh, and uh, this is the question. I hope you can see this. I'll read it out for you also. And the question says, uh, a shop sells bags in three sizes: small, medium, and large. A shop sells bags in three sizes: small, medium, and large. A large bag costs 1000, a medium bag costs 200 and a small bag costs 50. So what you should do is you should, in, on your solving sheet, you should put this down. A large bag costs 1000, a medium bag costs 200 and a small bag costs 50. So <clears throat> once you have that information, and, and, and one of the things that you, you do in, in good, good quality problem solving in the context of exams, uh, solving, problem solving in the exams, is you, you should uh, try to solve the question while, you, while you're reading. You should try to do it during your first reading. So you should uh, react to situation inside the question in such a way that you don't need to read it again. So, so in this solving that I'm doing right now, I don't need to read this part again because I've taken this, this out of, of the question. So I move ahead. Three buyers, uh, Ashish, Banti, Ban, Banti and Chintu, ABC, let's call them, independently buy some numbers of these bags, these types of bags. So I've got three buyers, ABC, who are buying <coughs> some numbers of each of these bags. Right? So there are nine unknowns in this case, at this point. The respective amounts spent by Ashish, Banti and Chintu are equal. So that means the total amount spent by Ashish is equal to the total amount spent by Banti is equal to the total amount spent by Chintu. Which means if the total amount spent by Ashish is X, the amount spent by Banti and Chintu is also X. Which means the total amount spent overall on the items will be 3X. And that means it is a multiple of 3. And as you will see, this is the key uh, construct inside this question. And the question further says, put together the shop sells one large bag. Put together the shop sells one large bag, 15 small bags, one large bag, 15 small bags, so one large bag. The shop is selling one large bag. Whom it is selling to is not given. And 15 small bags. So the total expenditure on one, one large bag will be 1,000. And the total expenditure on 15 small bags will be 750. So we have a total expenditure of 1750 on small bags and large bags plus whatever we'll spend on medium bags. That part is still something we don't know. But what we do know is the spending of, of, of medium on medium bags is suppose I, I talk about the variable, the missing variable in this situation is the number of medium bags you have sold. So if I talk about n medium bags, then this, this value is 200 and and what has to happen essentially then is that 1750 plus 200 n has to be the total spending of these three which is 3x and that's when you realize that uh, the value of n for example can be 1 or but it can't be 2 because if I take then the value of n is 2, 2 medium bags so 20, 400 will be the value here 
and uh, 17 will 50 will be the value there. So 1750 plus 2150. If I try to find the value of x for each, it comes out into a decimal because 2150 is not a multiple of 3. So that's when I realized, okay, there's some values of n which are possible, others which are not. And the question is not giving us anything more because the question asked me what is the minimum number of medium bags that the shop sells to them. And uh, uh, this is the, it's, it's in this context that you realize uh, that you have only one equation. You have an equation 3x is equal to 1750 plus 200n. Right? You have this equation 3x is equal to 1750 plus 200n. So this is an equation which I was talking about. One equation, two unknowns. So there's no unique value for n and x that you can determine. There can be multiple values for this. So the question is asking us, what is the minimum value of n? The question is asking us, what is the minimum number of medium bags that the shop sells to them? So n ka minimum value chahiye humko. We want a minimum value of n. So in order to do this, uh, as I said, the key factor is that the value of n should be such that this sum should be equal to a multiple of 3. So when I take n is 1, when I take n is 1, my sum on this right side is 1950, which is 3x. So that gives me x is 650. That means the interpretation of x is 650 is that each person has spent 650 rupees. But in this scenario, in the given scenario, it's not possible because one person exactly must have bought the large bag. There must have been exactly one person who bought, buys the large bag. And if the person who's bought the large bag, his, his expenditure will aut automatically be 1,000 plus. So his expenditure cannot be 650. So the value of x has to be more than 1,000 for each of them. Because if the guy who's buying the large bag is spending 1,000 rupees, everybody else will have to spend 1,000 or more. So which means that this gets blocked out. Ki I cannot take the value of n as 1. And I can only take value of n in such a way that the total of the right hand side because x has to be more than 1000, the total of the right hand side has to be more than 3000. Now it's a simple situation where you have to think about ki what value of n can I take so that the right hand side is still a multiple of 3. So in that context, if you see, 1750 plus 200, 1950 was a multiple of 3 with n as 1. If I take n as 2, I get 2150, which is not a multiple of 3. <coughs> if I take n as 3, I get 2350, which is again not a multiple of 3. But if I take n as 4, I get 2550, which is again a multiple of 3. And since 3x is a, is a, 3x is a, a arithmetic progression, and 1750 plus 200n is also an arithmetic progression, you realize that these two progressions, the progression of the right hand side and the progression of the left hand side, they keep meeting at every 600, at a gap of 600. So the first number at which they are equal, uh, where x is an integer, is 1950. The second one is 2550. The third one will be 3150. So the total expenditure must be 3150, for which the value of 200n must come out to be 7, uh, 1400. And for that, the value of n must be 7. That's the, that's the solution to this first question here. And there's a bonus question at the end. In this, the question say, is saying, and that, that must be seven medium bags, because only with seven medium bags do you actually end up spending 1,400 rupees on the medium bags. And then your total expenditure becomes 3,150, which is divided as 1,050, 1,050, and 1,050. And you can see that there are multiple ways of organizing this then. So if one guy has spent 1,050, the guy who must, uh, who, who bought, uh, the guy who bought the large bag, if he spent 1,050, his, let's say he is that person, he must have bought the large bag and one small bag. But the remaining seven medium bags and 14 small bags, these can be distributed in many ways to get 1,050 here and 1,050 here. So, so there are multiple ways of distributing this. For example, for B, I can have five small bags, five medium bags, which will cost 1,000 rupees, and one small bag, which will cost 50 rupees. So this will give me uh, 1,050. 
and then this will get filled automatically as 2 and, four, two and 13. Ah, 650 plus 400, so that also gives me that. But then instead of 5, if I use a 4 here, if I use a 4 for B and a 5, 4, 4 to 200 is 800, and 5 into 50 is 250, so he's spending 1050. So then 3 bags for C, 3 medium bags for C, and 9 medium bags for, uh, for small bags for C. So 600 plus 450, 1050. So there are multiple solutions inside this. But the question was just asking us the minimum value of n and or the number of medium bags and that turns out to be 7 here. And uh, uh, the other question is uh, telling us that the total spending that uh, if we knew that the total expense by the three of them for the above question was more than 10,000. Then the minimum value of the number of medium bags that the shop sells is. So in this case you just have to extend the arithmetic progression that you have just found. You found an arithmetic progression which said <coughs> that these two APs meet at these numbers and uh, go back to the logic of uh, uh, two APs merging if there is an, um, an arithmetic progression with a common difference of 200 another with a common difference of 3 so they will keep meeting at intervals of 600 which is the LCM of 203 so if they meet at 1950 they will meet at 2550 they will meet at 3150 and now you want to take this series to cross 10,000 so you need to navigate ahead on this series. And there are many ways of navigation. One of them is to add any multiple of 600 so that you get close to the answer. So if I add 6,000, I'll come to 9,150. Another 600 will give me 9,750. Another 600 will give me 10,350. So if the total expenditure of all three of them was, 10, was, was uh, more than 10,000, the earliest value it can be, can be 10,350. And uh, if, if 1700 plus 2000, 200 N is 1750 plus 200 N is 10,350, it means 200 N is equal to 8600, which means N is 43. So the answer to the question, that if they have spent minimum of, two th of 10,000 rupees, all three of them, the total expenses by the three of them was minimum 10,000 or more than 10,000. Then the minimum value of the number of medium bags is 43. So the answer in this question is 7 and this is 43. And these are again questions from a, from a new edition of my Corns book coming out this year. Uh, May, uh, May end you, you can expect a release of that. And this is how uh, you, you solve this question. And I hope you like this question. I hope you like the solution. Do share, do like, do subscribe to the channel and do comment on the, on the videos so that uh, we get uh, some benefits on the YouTube algorithm. And I hope you're liking what we're doing on the channel now. Thank you so much. We're trying to be active and we will be coming up with a lot more for all of you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.